guys, um, today is another great day. Forgive me if I seem to be whispering because I am. My whole household is still asleep. They'll be getting up in a couple hours to get ready for school and everything. But I just wanted to um, do a quick review over this morning's reading. If you guys read, keep up the good work. Continue to do it on a daily basis and just begin to watch your life and your spiritual life increase and just, and just grow bountifully so in today's reading um <clears throat> king david actually died you know uh, but before he died his son uh solomon god installed his throne but if you read through the reading you would know that um um adonijah another one of king david's son when king david was sick and on his bed and everything um adonijah said uh you know what dad's about to die i can go ahead and start getting the stuff rolling because i know i'm gonna be king next so he started throwing a party inviting people except for king david's closest counselors um so he was throwing a party but um they found out about it and they want to relate the message to king david and king david said oh really you know um and he said well god said solomon would be king after me so you know a couple different things happened and when he got solomon god told him to uh, know what a prophet gad i believe it was uh anointed solomon as king and installed him to office that day Adonijah heard about it, got scared, everybody that was there at the party, they fled, it was like, we don't want to be a part of this, you know, so, um, Adonijah ran to the temple and grabbed hold to the, uh, the, the horns at the altar and everything and pretty much begged and pleaded for his life. King Solomon let him live, he said, you know, but if you get out of line, that's your head, dude, you know, so, but eventually, Adonijah was killed because he tried to sleep with one of his dad's women, you know, so, but that was that, but, the main thing I wanted to bring out today was when um, the blessing that God gave King Solomon. You know, once he took the throne, you know, God came to him in a dream and he asked him, he said, you know, ask, well, he said, what do you want? Ask me what you want and I'll give it to you. And Solomon thought about it. You know, God told him, think about it and ask, ask me what you want. Solomon said, you know what? Just give me wisdom and a discerning heart to govern your people and that answer pleased God so much that he gave him that and he gave him even the things that he didn't ask for which was fame and riches and he was the wisest man on earth he was able to spit out wisdom left and right and go into details about animals and nature and all kinds of stuff I mean it blows your mind you know so um but that was that. Um, also, he began the building the temple in his time because they couldn't start building the temple during his father, King David's time, because King David was a man of war. He was always fighting wars and everything, and the temple couldn't even begin construction until there was peace on every side, you know. But since peace didn't happen while King David was still alive because of all of the battles, you know, there were a few battles that were fought during King Solomon's reign. But um, as you get into it, God... Uh, gave them favor and they defeated all of their enemies on every side and had peace on every side and then the building of the temple actually began so guys I hope you enjoyed today's reading keep up the good work you can read it or you can actually listen to it you know um, me personally I listen to it the majority of the time you know so but it's still still the same thing you're getting it in getting it in you so I love you guys see you in the morning Oh, don't forget to leave comments or feedback or put complete that you did today's reading. Alright guys.